Hello and welcome to the 13th Advanced Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can make it so the game has multiple levels. If you've not seen the previous advanced tutorials I'd advise you to check those out first so you have a clue what's going on and you will hopefully have all this code so you can make your own game. Now firstly, we'll, to decide when to go on to the next level will be once you've defeated all the monsters on that level. So we will create a new variable for the enemy and we'll call it enemy number just enemy no and that will equal zero and now what we're going to do is make sure that this enemy number is changed when there's new enemies so each time it says new spider at the end of here we'll say enemy number equals enemy number plus one Similarly, for all the other types of enemy that you have in the type or species of ice, as I've called them, I've got three different types. And also, when you find when the enemy is deleted, we'll have here that the number of the enemies decreases by one. So I'll delete that so it keeps a track of the numbers but also this we only want to set this as zero when it's your first time through so we'll just keep that as a global layer and we'll say if restart equals zero then we'll set it to one otherwise enemy equals zero otherwise if we don't do this when you restart the game then it will think there's no enemies and then it will just keep on going through the levels so now we can create a new function at the end and we'll call this f next level now at the end let's create this function function f next level and this is going to determine when we move onto the levels and we'll be able to make different maps for them so if enemy number equals zero then we'll say level equals level plus one and it'll load it all again so there'll be enemies again so it won't constantly cycle through the different levels and we only want to do this if there's still levels to progress through I'm gonna for my game have three levels so if level is smaller than four then it will only be allowed to go through the levels otherwise when you get to the fourth level it will stop so let's end if and I'll say if level equals four then I'll have text 320 240 which is the center of the screen and I'll say you have completed the game comma one comma one so it's centered and now we're going to trigger loading the next level so once it's gone to the next level we'll, we'll, also, we'll say that we'll make a new variable and we'll say that next oh I've got caps locks on next level equals one so this will trigger the game to say that we're going to have to load some more data and to load data you can't do it in the main program so that's why I've had to make this trigger which will leave the game from the main loop and I will add this variable to the character variables and I'll say global next level equals zero so it won't always be trying to go on to the next level okay so now when we're at the main loop we'll say if next level does equal one equals one then we're going to exit this and we'll move down here to where it would go if it was restarting but before that we'll say if next level equals one then we're going to select what level it is to see where we'll go to to load the next level so end if and then select the reason we're going out of the main loop to do this is because you can't go to anywhere 
that's outside of the main loop unless you're outside the main loop and um, we have to be outside the main loop so we can load data you get what I'm trying to say so well we've already loaded level 1 so we'll only do it for levels 2 and 3 and then we will go to a label called level 2 and if it's level 3 we'll go to a label called level 3 okay and now above the main loop we can have our we'll put the labels for the other levels we'll just create a label above the main loop called main loop so we can get there once we've loaded the levels so after so if it's the first time you run this program and you've just loaded all the variables then we'll want to go straight to main loop so it avoids the loading more levels so here it will be level 2 and then after that we'll say go to main loop so it'll start the program and then we'll have level 3 go to main loop okay so now in these new labels we can reload the levels so we will just copy all of this again and put it in here so now the reason we're um, creating the array again is that if you want to change the size of the map you can do that we just change the variable so you want it to be 10 by 10 then let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so I want it to go up to there and then I'll copy this and paste that 10 times remember you need to have exactly the numbers you've put here in the dimensions on the map so let's just modify this map and I think because it's level 2 it should be quite difficult so I will put let's look at the key the boss I'll put two bosses one at the top and one at the bottom okay so once it's done that we're going to make read info equal one again so when it goes to here it will reload the map again and only do that once because we've set it to make read info zero as soon as it's loaded the map and we'll also make next level equal zero so it'll stop going through the levels and now we can do the same just copy the same thing for level three and you can modify this so I think I'll make this even more difficult by oh I don't know why I put threes supposed to be nine for the boss I'll put I'll change it so I'll put some extra sevens in and eight so it's much more difficult okay so now let's try running the program so it's duplicate variable name so it's found a problem let's see yeah what the problem I've done here is when we're creating the maps again we've already declared these as globals so all we need to do is change the numbers themselves and in fact because in this map it's the same we don't even need those there so if you go like this it won't run them but I'll just leave them there in case you want to change the size of the map for level 3 let's save that and so I'll explain the problem again it was just because I already declared them as variables up here so you can't declare them as variable um, globals again you just give them a different value okay so now we're on level one and I regret I will just change level one because I don't want to have to play it all otherwise it will take too long let's just get rid of some of these enemies okay now I'll save it. So that's how easy it is to change the map. So the boss will come soon because he's the bottom right. He'll catch me soon. Okay, he's the last one to kill on this level. One, two. Oh, got to run away. Three, four, five. And oh, is there? There must be more on this map. Ah, there, last one. I get him hopefully he'll take me to the next level 
No. Ah, there's still that person. Well, let's. I hope they'll go on to. Oh, missed. Now I'm on the next level. And there you go. We've loaded this next level. And the problem was it was too small. That. Um. I ended up too low, but now if I press enter to restart, I'll restart this level. So the two bosses have merged to one. And I'll restart. Let's try and see if I can do this. One. I'll just keep on restarting. Because um, each time you restart, you still. the enemies still keep the same number of lives. Okay, now it's gone to the third level. Let's see. I doubt I can do this. About a few restarts. So I'd advise you don't make your maps too small, otherwise, you'll have problems like I did. But it still works okay. Let's see. Uh, I can. Um, ah, and there, and it ended when I finished the last level, which is kind of cool. But I didn't want that to happen, so let's just try and change this so it displays that you've completed it. So I've noticed it will still say next level equals 1 when it goes up to level 4 so I will just say if level is smaller than 3 then it will load the next level and now if I I'll just change the third map so it's much easier so I don't waste your time watching me and I'll just change the variable level to start on level 3 just me cheating. Oh. Oh, it's sorry. It won't work that way. You still you have to actually play them through in the game. Um. So I'll just play that through. Okay, I'm on the second level now, and as you can see, even though it's a small map, it does have boundaries on the edge, which work. Okay. Um. There you go. Now it says I've completed the game. So in the next tutorial I'll have improved my maps so they work better and I'll show you how to save the game and that will be the last one so thanks for watching.